Hello, Al Pals. This is Big Al. Welcome to Big Al Presents. My review of the Disney live action version of The Little Mermaid, new in theaters as I record this. I have seen it and wanted to share my thoughts on it, but of course, before I do so, caution, possible spoilers ahead, so if you don't want to know anything about the film, now is the time to turn back. With that out of the way, my review of The Little Mermaid. From the special effects, sound, cinematography, art direction, the film from a technical and visual standpoint is a beautiful piece of filmmaking. Though a quality piece of musical entertainment on its own merit, The Little Mermaid falls into the same problem as the other live action musicals before it. It simply lacks the magic that the animators were able to conjure in the original film, a point that I am sure will surprise no one. While the film has generated a great deal of conversation regarding its casting choices, the diverse cast is a distraction not because of any problems on screen, but because of the months of negative social chatter that has been generated on social media. In all fairness, each actor has done an admirable job and in no way deserves any hatred or criticism. To her credit, Halle Bailey gives a remarkable performance as Ariel. While her portrayal doesn't quite approach the animated Ariel, her performance cannot be faulted in any way. Jonah Howard King as Eric is fine, though unmemorable. One aspect of the film that didn't quite work was the chemistry between Ariel and Eric. It was okay, but far from ideal. It was like, kiss the girl or not, whatever. Kind of hallmark light. The lovable creatures of the original, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle, return, but, of course, lose much of the magic in the live-action remake. Aquafina's performance as Scuttle is fine, but her scratchy-voiced manic delivery becomes tiresome, and Flounder just seems a bit fishy, doesn't really stand out at all. However, I must applaud the performance of David Diggs as Sebastian. Sebastian was, in my opinion, the absolute highlight of this live-action remake. Funny and a bit snarky, Sebastian the Crab was the true breakaway character and my favorite. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula is also one of the actors that rises to the occasion and delivers a delightfully wicked turn in her attitude, but doesn't quite look evil despite her tentacles. Not until she grows into her monstrous form at the end does Ursula feel truly evil. Javier Bardem as King Triton, Ariel's father, adds a good air of nobility to the role. And it would have been nice to have seen a few more tender father-daughter moments that, like the ones they shared at the end. Most of the time, he was just the grumpy, overprotective father. But Javier Bardem does that pretty well. The original music holds up quite well, but the new song performances never quite reach the greatness of the original. The newer songs by Lin-Manuel Miranda are a mixed bag, feeling out of place in style and tone especially the new song, The Scuttlebutt, sung by Aquafina. It's terribly out of place, and her gravelly delivery doesn't help. Wild Uncharted Waters is the best of the new songs, and meant to be Eric's part-of-your-world type of song. Uh, it doesn't feel quite up to the originals, but it does hold its own, and does shine above the newer ones. The story mostly follows the classic story, but does change a few elements in an attempt to explain diverse casting. 
Eric's mother is black, so they made it a point to mention he was adopted. And to make Ariel even more the hero, she is the one that steers the ship to impale Ursula rather than Eric, as in the original. I did like the diversity of Triton's daughters, each embodying the land to which her sea was adjacent. I actually thought that made a great deal of sense and applauded that choice. While The Little Mermaid is a mixed bag, the main question is, of course, is it a good film? Yes, it is. Great? No. But good. Sebastian saves it for mediocrity, in my opinion. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, sort of. It's three stars. It's a good film. It's a, it's a right on that good film line, three stars. I enjoyed watching it. I thought the song performances actually were quite good. Not original animated Little Mermaid good, but good. Uh, the new songs, yeah, I, they just didn't seem to fit. They, they just seemed out of place. But I really don't have too much more negative to really say about it. Like I said, you know, the chemistry between the, the two leads was average at best. Um, wasn't bad, but it definitely didn't have that little spark that you like to see in romantic leads. Uh, I think all the actors did quite a fine job, even the ones I didn't mention here that have a few moments. Uh, it was nice to see Jody Benson, the original Ariel, have a small, nice little speaking cameo uh, as Eric and Ariel wander through the village. I think that anybody who wants to go see this film, simply because they want to go see the new Little Mermaid film, will enjoy it. If you don't have the baggage of what Disney has been up to or, you know, are they, or aren't they an evil empire? I, which is why I try to avoid all that scuttlebutt as, uh, as a damn bird would say. Now I make a joke about it, but the song really is out of place. The scuttlebutt. Oh, well, you know, um, but that is my review. Uh, I do recommend it. If if you want to go see it, go see it. I think you'll enjoy it. It's 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 a fine it's a fine film. So if you want to go see it, go see it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Big Al Presents, I really hope you do so. More reviews, rewatches, rambles in the weeks and months to come. If you did like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and share it around. You know, let some people know that somebody out there actually likes the film. It's not perfect, but it's, you know, it's a good film. Until next time, I hope you find something good to watch. Take care and goodbye.